Hello, good morning, and welcome to lesson six of the course Introduction to Rapid Application Development using SQL Server and ESP.NET Maker. I am Benjamin Fadino. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to apply the not null property to the two columns that make up the account types table. We are going to learn how to apply the not null property to the two columns that make up the account types table. First of all, we are going to ensure that the SQL Server service is running. So the instance is not running. So I'll click on the instance, then I click on start the service. So the SQL server whose name is Ibukun Lua is now being started. Okay, it's now running. So I'm going to connect user management studio. So I type management studio. So now I'm going to connect today using Windows authentication. So I click connect. Okay, I'll expand the databases folder. Um, right now we have only Muyik Bank DB as the only user defined database on this instance of SQL Server. Okay, I'll expand the Muyik Bank DB node. I'll expand the tables folder under it. And right now we have only one table, account types. So we are going to switch to design view for account types. So I go to design. All right, click on design. Okay, so um, in the last lesson, we assigned the integer data type to account type ID and we asked column. And then we also assigned um, NVACA 50 data type to account type name. So uh, what we mean is that account type ID column, we only store all numbers without decimal places. While uh, the values that we are going to stop in, we are going to store in account type name column, they should not be more than 50 characters. Now today we want to make it compulsory. We want to make it compulsory that data must be entered into the two columns. We want to make it compulsory. We want to make it mandatory that data will, will be entered into two columns. And the way we do that is by unchecking the annual null check box next to each column. So once we uncheck the allow null check box next to each column, it means that our uh, Data entry is now uh, mandatory for that column. Once we uncheck the allow null checkbox, it means that data entry is now compulsory for that particular column. So let's uncheck. Let's save. Go to I'll go to file and I'll click on save account types. Now at this point, I'm going to enter my first data inside um, inside um, the table. How do I do that? 
I'll right click on the account types table, then I'll say edit top 200 rows. So I click on edit top 200 rows. Okay, now let me put individual savings here. Note that I've not entered anything in the account type ID column. When I press tab, um, Management Studio uh, displays an error. It says that the data in row one was not committed. In other words, the data in row one was not saved. Error source, .NET SQL server client data provider. Error message cannot insert the value null into column account type ID. The value, no, the value null means I, we don't know. We don't know. Null means we don't know. Um, another way of, of explaining null is to say the value is not known. The value cannot be determined at this particular time. Okay. So, you know, because we unchecked the allow, allow null uh, checkbox on account type ID, that is why that error message is displayed. So now, what if I now enter a value of two? Takes it. If I enter a value of, let me say six. Let me say six here. Yeah. And I press tab. The same error is displayed. This time around, the error message is cannot insert the value null into column account type name. So let's fix the error by entering a value. So I enter individual current. Now, it has taken it. We have come to the end of this lesson, which explains uh, how to make data entry in a particular column mandatory in a table. Thank you.